Oh, hi, everybody. It's uh, it, it, it's Mark Rushton of uh, MarkRushtonGallery.com. It is uh, Wednesday, February 15th, 2023. And uh, I, I got some frames and I've got a book painting that I need to mount. And then we're going to talk just a little bit about this book here, which I kind of like. But first, before I get started here, um, in the in the description there, you know, I've got an uh, uh, email list you can sign up for to stay aware of uh, my paintings and uh, shows and stuff like that that's coming out. You know, and if you like the video, th think about liking it. You know, or not liking it. I, I whatever. And you know, think about subscribing, whatever service you're using there. Um, because, you know, I try to put on, I try to put on a good show here, you know. Uh, so anyway, uh, this is, this is my order from Blick Art Materials. And um, I ordered eight frames. I ordered eight frames. And as you can see here, there's not eight frames. There is, um, there is a box here. It's the Blick box. And it arrived today, and I was just like, uh, I, you know, I, I ordered eight frames, but this does not feel like eight frames. It turns out it's it's two frames. So what's the deal with that? So I looked at the order, and so what they did was they packed six frames in one box and two frames in, well, this box. And... Uh, both frames, both boxes left um, um, uh, where are they based out of? It begins with a G in Illinois. Where, where is this again? Galesburg. Galesburg, Illinois. Both boxes made it to Rock Island, Illinois, which is the Quad Cities. That's great. And then one box came to uh, Des Moines, last night and the other box went to champaign illinois <laughs> because that makes sense right it makes sense it makes complete oh this is oh hold on here here's last night's book painting anyway um so it would make natural sense that the that the other six frames would go from rock island all the way over to champaign illinois because that's FedEx logic. It's, it's nothing to do with Blick. It's just FedEx is insane. But it'll be here tomorrow, the next day, whatever. It's no big hurry, no big shakes. But it's just weird. Just weird when you, did, you don't get your whole order, you know. Let's see if we can... Uh, let's see if we can not completely mangle this painting here wow you're gonna be trouble so these are book paintings these are paintings that i make on book paper and uh because these books were going to be thrown away and you know uh i'm getting into the whole recycling thing i guess and uh i decided that this this math book here was uh i was going to save it through art and so what i do is i paint my sort of little landscape motif rothko effect sort of thing on the book paper with acrylic ink and acrylic paint and uh um I, maybe i should try other books i don't know uh send me your damaged books just, just kidding. Don't, don't send me anything. Send me my six frames. Where are they? Yeah, that looks good. To be really careful here. Now, what I do is I mount the painting here to an eight by ten cardstock, and then I, uh, adhere it to the cardstock with uh, this Tyvek tape that I have here. Works very well.
Very good. And then that way I can put it, put a pre-cut mat over it. Not this one because this one's filthy. And then I can put it in the frame and um, it, it'll be its little entity there. We'll put that on the side for now. Let's talk about this for a second here. But first, I'm drinking, of course, lemon water because keep away the kidney stones. And, of course, my nightly uh, 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 Kelowna Supernatural 100% organic vanilla kefir. It's got the probiotics. It's made with uh, uh, Amish and Mennonite cow milk. And the kefir grains that uh, get rid of most of the lactose. Fermented. I, I, I love this stuff. This is the best. Because you know what? Gut health equals brain health. And I, I need all the brain health I can get. Been reading through this book. This is a very, very interesting book. It does talk through a lot of the things that drive me absolutely nuts about um, the arts these days. But the guy, the author, William, this guy, let's talk about the other side. And I really enjoy reading somebody presenting that here. So, you know, you're, you're talking about, you know, what kind of parent is going to agree to pay $200,000 for a BFA? Well, right? The majority of middle-class professionals will not support their children to study art. Good. So who's there? It's it's very narrow slice of America. Yes, it's the rich kids. It's always kind of been the rich kids uh, to an extent. Um, studio assistants. Uh, I asked her, the former seventh year as editor of a major independent press. What do you make? I asked her about 60. She snorted almost 40. As of 2017, editorial assistants at the New Yorker were earning $35,000 a year in a city where the rent can easily account for half that much, or no, actually more. Privilege doesn't begin to describe where they're from. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's just like the writing part there. Yeah, MFAs. For people to be paying eight hundred to a thousand dollars a month for thirty years or more, yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, arts funding in K through twelve has been declining since the nineteen seventies, a trend exacerbated. Well, it's not just no child left; it's everything. We want to have all this other crap. We want to teach all this other stupid crap. We can't hire an art teacher. Give me a break. Some of my best teachers back in the day were art teachers. In, in, in public school and my art professor at, at the school. I, he was very, he is very good, was very good. He's as old as Elvis. How old would Elvis be? Uh, 87 or 88, I do believe right now. Uh, so anyway, I'm enjoying reading this book here. And um, uh, some of the quotes drive me bonkers and other quotes are just like, yes, thank you for driving that point home. So I'm enjoying reading that book and uh, I'll have a book report on that later. <laughs> we'll go through it together. But for now, but for now, what time is it? 1028. You know, I've really been, uh, I've really been up late lately. I've been uh, kind of pushing my schedule a little bit later at the gym. I don't necessarily work out at the gym in the evening. It's a, uh, you know, steam room. Um, hot bath, all that sort of stuff. The whirlpool. Uh, it really does quite well for me. Oh, I know what. We're going to use this page here. This page just doesn't do it for me. This page does. We're going to play around with the ink tonight, too. I've been kind of um, I've been uh, on automatic pilot lately. So let's see what we can do here nobody hanging out what what it's not good 
I'm up too late. That West Coast. Nobody on the West Coast saying hello? Normally, normally I start with this sort of mid-tone here. Let's start with something a little bit different. Not that much different, but let's start with a red. Let's start with the red. You want to start with the red? What if I start with the blue up here? I'll do blue up here and I'll do red on the bottom. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do the lighter blue. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not good. That's extremely bad. Oh, my God. Did you see that? Yeah, you saw that. Oh, my God. See, that's what see, Mom always says. Don't play ball in the house, right? Oh, my God. All right. Well, we'll just do what we can here. A little bit of a sky. That's a bummer. You know what? I didn't really like that color anyway, so. Ugh. Ugh. Waste of a perfectly good ink that I didn't like. Get this all over here. Oh, look at that. We're already breaking out the uh, Mr. Kirkland uh, wipes here. All right. <laughs> that made it interesting. All right, so let's let's try to put a lid on it here. Yeah, I, I it's an interesting art book. Yes. Not, you know, on one hand there's that sort of everything's not fair aspect of to it. And on the other hand, it's just like, you know, it's everything is ridiculous. Sorry about that. Everything is ridiculous with regard to the arts. You know, it's, it's, it's not fair. Well, when has it ever been fair? When has it ever been fair? When? Can somebody explain that to me? No, 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 no. How dare you? So I got this down. Are we are we moving to paint already? Are we moving to paint? I think we're moving to paint already here. Um, let's go and tap this one out. There we go. do kind of like that, but no, I must transform it. I must transform it. Don't play it safe. Don't play it safe. Scared money makes none, right? That's how it works. Get down there right on the line. Right down the line. It was at the casino the other day and they were playing that Jerry Rafferty song right down the line. Got that line in the song. What was it? Uh, threw away all the crazy dreams. Threw away all those crazy dreams. Yeah, yeah. And meanwhile, everyone's around me is, is playing slot machines, you know. That kind of turned into a wedding song, didn't it? I think it did. I think I think people regard it a little higher than uh, than Baker Street. Baker Street, which was number two for six weeks, never made it to number one. Let's see if I can. Oh, oh, we got stuff in there. That's the problem. Get that saxophone solo. 
And the guy who did the sax solo, you can look this up. The, the guy who did the sax solo was like, oh, I came up with that. And then Jerry Rafferty, before he died, he put out the put out his demo. Like, no, 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 no. That 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 melodic line that was in the saxophone was in the demo. Oops. Damn sax players. But every now and then you hear music at the uh, at the casino. Kind of interesting. One time I was at the ATM, and the ATM the ATM takes forever there. That's why I try, you never try to get money from an ATM at a at a casino. Number one, they they charge you like three dollars and fifty cents to take anything out because <laughs> because why not, right? Captive, and the whole time I'm listening to Louie Louie by the Kingsman. That was great. That's so good. You like barely hear it. It's like I I know the drummer says the F word right there. He drops his stick. You can look that up too. The FBI, because they didn't have anything else to do, you know, they were like trying to figure out the lyrics. They didn't have a genius back in the day, you know. <laughs> what are the lyrics to the song? Here? <laughs> or you could just ask Richard Berry, you know, he wrote the song. <clears throat> Louie, Louie, you got to go. Meanwhile, you got that kid who sang on the for the Kingsman. He was like what? He was like 16, 17 years old. He had braces on. There was one microphone in the studio. They were hurry because they had to hurry because it was they were running out of money. In like what two, three hours. Then I think if I'm not mistaken, the the Wikipedia says something like uh Ah, uh, what did it say about that? It said they did like a six hour version the night before or a two hour version. <laughs> Played Wick Louie Louie for hours. I can believe it. Everybody back then was on everybody back then was on uh, what were they on? Barbiturates, something like that. I could see the speed. Mother's little helper. Weren't they all on that back then? Every decade was different. You know, back in the 1950s, uh, Uncle Mildy, did I say this last night? I don't know if I said this last night. Or not. In the 1950s, Uncle Mildy uh, was hawking uh, uh, tranquilizers. You can look that up too. Big... <sighs> I find that much more interesting than uh, all that other stuff about Milton Berle. The Howard Stern stuff. The, the stuff that concerned Howard Stern. I'm I'm more interested in... Because, uh, you know, back then they were hawking... What were they hawking on TV? Cigarettes, you know? More doctors smoke camels than any other brand of cigarette. They had old Reagan. He'd hawk anything. He's up there... Hawking Chesterfields or whatever. Kids, don't 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 do drugs. You'll get the you'll get the Alzheimer's. Just be careful there. Louis, Louis, we got to go. Why is this, is this, 
is the paper flecking off? Let's let that dry there for a little bit. I think I'm overworking it. Um, what other music did I have? I been oh oh my god, this is at the end of the line. I think this is going to come out semi chunky. No, that's it. That's good. I like throwing. Time to go in the trash. Oh, you know what else I heard out at the at the casino recently? Um, what was that song? Rod Stewart did a cover of it. I had no idea it was like an old soul number. It was some guys have all the luck. I'm sitting there going, "This is this is the this is." Rod Stewart covered this back in the back in the eighties. You know when he was on MTV. Can, can you believe that was a hit? Rod Stewart back at, back when he could record anything. He could he could record crap like Love Touch, and it was a hit. Do I think he's sex? I don't know. I don't know here. Hold on here. I gotta. I gotta, I gotta find it here. Who did some guys have all the luck? Because I did a big sound hound on it here. Uh, the Persuaders. The Persuaders. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like sometimes I'm in stores and I'll just, I'll just, you know. And then there was some weird song. I didn't know what it was. It was this Chicago song, Wishing You Were Here. I'm like, what is this? This kind of sounds like Chicago. And then it sounded like some, somebody else was singing on it, right? And then there's the Persuaders. And then I was in some store, and I didn't know what that thumb song was. I just, that was just curious. And then, uh, yeah, right down the line, Jerry Rafferty. A green Light by the American Breed. And La Bamba. La Bamba, that's always a good, always like hearing that. You don't hear that very often. Heard that a lot in the eighties, and then that must have got lost by the Jay Giles band. I knew, I knew it was that. I was like, I know this is must have got lost by the Jay Giles band. That's forty. That's almost a fifty-year-old song. But I was in the store. I, you know, I read, I read music biographies and stuff like that. That didn't turn out very good. Um, let's keep working it. Let's keep working it here. Um. Well, I ran what ramble here about music. Yeah, the grocery stores here where they had like this weird 70s channel on for like after Christmas for about, I don't know, it was about a month. It's kind of like more normal pop music now, but it was stuff like, it was like these weird Jefferson Starship album tracks from like the red octopus album like who remembers that i'm sure there's a boomer out there that does the outlaws who, who else who else did i hear recently yeah jay giles band and not you know nothing that anybody remember everybody remembers like centerfold and freeze frame and stuff like that but uh must have got lost. Was that's that was okay. That's an okay song from the seventies. Oh, it was rocking. I think I talked about this the other night. Rock and roll, hoochie coo. I was talking about. I was like, was that Rick Derringer or Johnny Winter? Oh, it was both. Rick Derringer wrote it, and he wrote it for Johnny Winter, and then he went and recorded his own version of it. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. I kind of like that little pink sticking through there. That's that's kind of interesting. I don't like this green though. That's that's a problem, and I gotta I gotta work on it here. Maybe. I'm just gonna make. This, whoa, hold on here. Yeah, this is my way.
Jerry Rafferty, man. He drank a little too much. Don't drink too much, guys. You end up like Jerry Rafferty. Dead. Don't do it. Just don't don't drink too much, guys. Drink the kefir. Drink the kefir. Drink fermented milk, not alcohol. If you can get away with it. If you can if you can deal with it here. Hmm. I kind of want to. I kind of want to bleach the sky a little more. Is it wrong? Do I want to do it with ink? Let's make it a little foggy. What do you say? What do you say? Let's make it a little foggy. Let's make that fog kind of roll in. This paper is... Uh, it needs to dry. <laughs> got it's got shavings on it there he, no he threw away all the crazy dreams that's what he did that's what Jerry Rafferty did threw away all those crazy dreams meanwhile everyone around me is just you know punching the, the slot machine and they're uh, not paying attention to anything. There I am listening to old Jerry Rafferty. Then the other thing at the casino was my parents, like I meet my, we meet my, my wife and I meet my parents out there at least once a week. They like to go out and they like to listen to the music. There's a band out there every now and then and anyway there's old guys you know and they were uh singing bad bad leroy brown baddest man in the whole damn town badder than old king kong and meaner than the junkyard dog and i was like they're actually the band was actually pretty good for you know old fellas right of course, they've probably been playing music forever, so they're good at it. And it, just, it dawned on me. It was like, these guys probably played Bad, Bad Leroy Brown back when they were like in their 20s, you know? They're probably in their 20s. They're probably playing that music 50 years ago. And here they, you know, and they were good. They were good. People were dancing, you know? Kind of how old people dance, right? But they were doing it to bad bad leroy brown <laughs> i say they were good they're good pretty pretty good better than the polka band that they have the polka band out there uh, sometimes the singer is a little flat right a little on the flat side But it's free, so what are you going to do? This is a little, a little bit different. I wanted to have something a little bit different than what I've been doing lately. Um, what have you been doing lately, Rushton? Let's take a look. Um, Now this one I'm not sure about as as a as a piece here. That's not as good. We'll have to see about that one. That's good. And that one's great. Love that one there. And then this one. I'm not sure about this. I don't think it. It may not be done. Maybe it needs a little more work. Does it need a little more work, you think? What do you think?
Just needs a little refinement there. I don't know. Let's see how it is when it dries. Right. What time is it? 10.49. I don't like these things to really run over half an hour. Sometimes they do. That's it for this evening. Mark Rushton of markrushton.com. Lots of links and stuff in the description. Thanks for hanging out tonight. Talk to you later.